Hello, this is Chris Menard. I've got three tips today in Microsoft Word, and one of them is going to be really cool. I'm going to put in a page number in either the header or the footer, but I'm going to have that page number inside of a shape, such as a circle or a rectangle. So let's go ahead and get started with these three tips. Tip number one, I have a Word document running. It's only one page. When you put your mouse up at the top of the document, it'll say double click to hide the white space. If I double click, that's great. There's page one. And if I add a page break, control enter, there's page two. So it's an easy way to see the text in your pages, but what happens is you cannot see your headers and footers. So the only reason I'm mentioning this is I actually saw a question posted on the Microsoft community that someone had headers and footers and couldn't see them and this was the solution. So if I want to see the white space again, I can either double click here on the line or back up top again. So now I got my headers and footers again. Tip number two, if you want to add a header or a footer, I'm going to do a header. Just double click in the header. That'll pull up header and footer tools design so I can edit my header. When you're done, just double click back in the document one more time back in the header because it's just easy to double click and then the third tip and the really cool one I want to add page number one obviously to this page I'm gonna do it aligned to the right so let's go ahead and go control R that'll do a line to the right control R is the same as the home tab the paragraph group align right. In case you're wondering why I didn't tab over, if you notice there's a center tab stop and a right tab stop. Occasionally when you tab over in the header and then you go from portrait to landscape, the numbers don't line up right, but they will since I did control R for right. So here we go, headers and footer tools design. But what I want to do first is actually put in the shape. So I'm going to go to the insert tab shapes. It's up to you what shape you want. Rectangle, rounded rectangle are nice. I want to do a circle. There's not a circle listed in here. There is an oval, so here's actually another trick. I'm going to select the oval. On the keyboard, I'm going to select and hold down the shift key. Now I'm going to drag that oval and it actually makes it a circle. I'm going to let go of the mouse. I'm going to let go of the shift key. So there's my shape. I'm going to right click inside of it. Add text. Drawing tools because that's the shape. Header and footer tools design. Page number. Current position. Plane number one. Watch what happens when I click it. There is a one inside of a blue circle. I could change that color of the circle that I drew if I wanted to, but I kind of like it. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to double click back in my document. Page one, scroll down, page two. Let's do a quick test and add one more page, page three. Let's go see how it looks in print preview, file, print. Looks pretty good. I appreciate your time. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post about two to four videos a week at least. Have a good day.